All right, I have a 1926 Underwood Four Bank, and this is really a pretty typewriter. I love the weathered or the aged uh, keys underneath. This is the metal uh, original glass keys on this particular one. You can see the black gloss enamel is really in pristine condition. Uh, the decals show some wear, but they're silver decals instead of the gold that um, you usually see. Um, but this is such a pretty machine. Now this one is attached um, to the base of the carrying case. So this is a portable uh, typewriter. For this particular one, the handle is missing on the case. So the handle, a handle will need to be replaced if you actually wanted to carry it around. Now, if you do want to remove the typewriter from the base, let me show you how to do that. So there are two screws that attach it. One is right here. You can see where my feet, I know you, I can't zoom in to show it. And the other one is right here. And so you would just need, it's a flat, um, a flat screwdriver head and you just unscrew those two and this will come right out of the case if you would prefer to not have it attached to the base, okay? All right, let's take a look at how to use one of these. So um, right here, you just press down and that's your carriage release and it's only on the right side. Okay, so that releases your carriage. Back here is, if I can get the other one up, your paper holders. Ta-da! And then you'll also find, if you just press and drag, you'll find your margins in the back as well. Your paper release is right here on the right. And then the handle. So the only thing, I love portables. They're so cute. However, the only thing I don't like is the shorter handles. And um, they just, it's just for me, it's a little, I don't like, I mean, it works. But the longer handles are just easier to hit the return on that. So let's um, go ahead and your ribbon reversals right here. So we do have uh, metal spools. Now the knobs that um, the caps that go on these are missing. But you can just pull out and drop new ones in. We have wound it with fresh ribbon. Uh, the nice thing is, is when we do hand, when we hand wind ribbons, you get a lot more ribbon on your spool than the ones that you just buy that um, are prepackaged that we buy in bulk and sell to you. Um, so if you want hand wound ribbons, let us know and we will do those for you. Um, so when you get to the end of your ribbon, uh, please reverse the direction because there's plenty of ink on that ribbon. It's going to last you a long time. Some people think that the ink dries out right away and it doesn't. It takes a couple of years for the ink to dry out. In fact, my grandmother has an Underwood. Oh no, I'm sorry. She has a Remington, my grandmother's. And, um, the ink hadn't, or the ribbon had not been changed probably since the 1950s and it still had ink in it. So it does not, um, dry out. Um, unless it's been sitting out like in the sun or something like that. Okay, let's do a typing demo. This is a 1926, so I'm going to use the lowercase l for the number one. And, oh, color selector right here. So I'm going to put that back to um, black. So 1926. Um, oops. Four. Man, I'm sorry, my, okay, backspace. Is 
sorry, I am not typing well on any of my videos today. Let's keep going. It is user error. Let's do the caps. That three seems a little sticky, so we'll hit it again with a solution. But if you do have sticky keys, I mean, if you can tell, this got cleaned up real well. There's no, you can see there's no gunk in there. But every once in a while, you get a sticky key. We do have a video on how to handle that. But we use mineral spirits and a Q-tip and just kind of rub it there. And that helps with sticky keys. But we also have a solution here. And we'll pop this number three with some more solution. Whoops. Okay. I have noticed I did an Underwood last week that also struggled with the caps lock. So let's see if that'll hold. It's actually holding better than the one we had last week. seems to be doing fine. This typewriter, it types very well, but um, this is going to be for those of you who are not in any hurry. Go back to the red. Okay, this is really fun. I enjoyed it, but this is not something I would type a um, book on unless I was like really taking my time. So this is gonna be a slow and steady, a thoughtful typewriter. So yes, prose, poetry, something that you just really wanna take your time on. Maybe um, a special letter. Uh, it's going to work great for you. I mean, it's almost 100 years old. Can you believe it? And it works great, but it's not going to be something you're going to want for a big project. So I hope you love it. It's beautiful. I, I mean, the enamel is in excellent condition. The, um, like I said, the decals have some wear on it, but man, this typewriter is great. So thanks so much again for watching. You can look for more details or more photos on our Etsy shop. Um, the listing is in the link below, and so glad you guys could join us today. Have a wonderful day. Bye.